Hi, everybody. Welcome to the GWM Catch Up for a quick day, but an emotional day with tons of drama here at Main Break of Margaret River, setting up some quarterfinal matchups, but also setting up some surfers going to the Challenger Series as well. It started off with one of the best rivalries we have in pro surfing from Rabbit Bartholomew, Sean Thompson, Shane Haran, MR, Potts Gurr, Andy Kelly, Mick Joel. I mean, this is one of the classics, Medina versus John in another head-to-head -head matchup. And this time, Medina's the defending event champ at main break. Things were very close. The rail engaged on the Pizel from Florence. Looked very intent to win at all costs. He even threw down a little claim, which was rare, showing it how meaningful this win was for him. They shook it off. The two world champions who qualified together at the same time. John moves on. Sammy Pupo and Miguel. This was a heartbreaking moment, but also bittersweet. I mean, Sammy still has a chance to qualify for the rest of the season, but knocking his big brother off tour and sending him to the Challenger Series is not what he wanted to do. Sammy was very emotional in his post-seed interview, knowing that his brother's done everything for him to put himself on the main stage. He said he wouldn't be here without Miguel and the tears just flowed. Miguel had a big smile, proud of his younger brother. Maybe harder for Sammy to deal with that scenario as he moves on. Then world number one, Griffin Colapinto, tested against the strong, powerful backhand of the Moroccan, Ramsey Bulkayem. Ramsey was looking for another quarterfinal appearance, but Griff was in the flow state, stayed calm, stayed clutch and looks like world number one into the final series for three straight events now. Coming off back-to-back -back finals for the win in Portugal, runner-up in Bells. Can he repeat a final appearance this year? But what about the wild card, George Bittar? Taking out world number 10, Liam O'Brien. Not just in any sort of fashion, but with nines heading his way. Got a single carve section for a 5-6-7. This guy was unbelievable. Everyone upstairs was mimicking his technique, winding up with big carves and put pressure on Liam early, even had him comboed for part of the matchup. Liam couldn't come back, and it's George Pitar in his first CT quarterfinal and a chance to be the most successful wild card of 2024. As we check out the finals bracket, John John will have Sammy Pupo. Griffin Colapinto has the wild card, George Pitar, wild card versus number one in the world. And a lot of line for Sammy Pupo because he hasn't made the cut officially yet. He did get past his brother and moved up to number 22 on the rankings. But he's going to be watching that heat with Ethan Ewing and Seth Moniz very closely in the round of 16. If Seth loses to Ethan, then Sammy Pupo would see himself make the midseason cut and continue on for the rest of the year. For now, check out WorldSurfLeague.com. For all the highlights, athlete updates, and full heat replays from the Western Australia Margaret River Pro, and tune in tomorrow afternoon at 2.45 p.m. local time for the call.